I have a Google Sheet here and one column of this Google Sheet contain a date. I did not enter any data yet but I will enter some date and name and issues like this. So it will be like Richard issue date of meeting anything 12-9-2022. So what I want when I will enter some data and the data will have a date it should create a calendar event. On my google calendar here you see like if i enter this it should create a calendar event and it should also contain the issue on the event right and what i can do also i can also share this google sheet with my other associates or other team members so when they enter some data here it will also create the events right so let's delete this row for now and Let's see how to automate this calendar event creation. You don't need to write any code or anything. We will do this using an add-on. So for that, you have to click on this extension, add-ons and, and get add-ons. Here, search for calendar events creator. Calendar events creator, not the automator. That is a different one, but it works better. And click on this and install this it will ask for some permission uh, you have to log in with your Google account and you have to allow the permission your, so that it can create the events on your calendar and done okay so first what we will do we have to set up the automation for that click on extension and you will see this new option here calendar events creator and click on setup so the event title first here you see the event title what will be the title for the event so i can create it like clients meeting so it will create the events with this name and like what is the date of this event so for the date we have to select the column that is column c for our, for us and the issue uh, that is it, this is the start date and this is the stop date so it is same for us here the start date will be uh, the date of meeting and the end date will be date of meeting and if you want to select a color here for those events you can let's select red location if you want if you can add a location this location will be used for all the events it will create and the event description if you want a description for the events yes we want a description so you can just delete it and for us the description is on the column b so select the column b and click on this select button and you'll see it has taken the column b and event status view so if you check this it will create a new column here not a new column it will create some data on this column we have selected d that is why it will create the data here that it will show that event has been created or event created or not uh, so when basically it will show if the event has been created on the google calendar we'll see this in a minute we don't want to create the events by submitting form we will see that later in this video so i'm unchecking this we are going to add the data here manually for this worksheet update events automatically okay apply the settings it is saved now you can close this so client name first try to enter some data issue microsoft outlook date limit i'm entering a date here so when i press enter you'll see in a minute it will create the event oh it's an ad i can close this you see view event it means that it has created the event now if we go to the google calendar you see it has created an event on 12th of september if i click here you see the issue is microsoft outlook okay let's try with adding another data here peter let's 16 9 2022 and you'll see it has created the event instantly and if i go here 16 oh 16 you see clients meeting microsoft access and the good thing is you don't need to enter all the data by yourself you can share this google sheet with your uh, team members and when they enter the data it will create the events 
like this and i have another video on how to share single google sheet if you have multiple google sheets and you want to share the single one like this shared excel you can just share this i will link that video in the video description okay so now you see and if you want to create a time for the event you can do that same like for that you have to create a column with the time and let's see how to do that let's first delete this column and enter a like called time so we have created a column here with the time and we want the event on the same time we will mention here so how to do that for that you have to go to extension again and you have to go to the setup on the calendar event and here you see it has selected the all day we don't want all day we will add the time manually so deselect the all day and date of meeting is uh, column c and the select start time the time column and the end time should be the time column we cannot uh, allow like 30 minutes or 40 minutes like that if you want to uh, do that like if you want to mention the 30 minutes meeting or a 40 minutes meeting you have to create another column and you have to mention the column here but for this tutorial i will show how to create the events on time and date so now if i apply and the status view should be on a different column column e so we'll see the statuses on e okay and apply the settings here and close this so let's see let's delete the all data first and we'll see it by your ourselves we'll delete everything delete these events here also delete this and i'll add the data again like richard the issue uh like google chrome date of meeting 12 9 2022 and the time will be 1200 hours maybe 1300 hours and you see we have entered a time and date so if we go to the, the meeting here you see 12 am to 12 am it didn't update the time yet it takes some time sometimes to update the time and date because when we entered the date it created the event it didn't take the time yet it will take now you see it has taken the time 1 p.m that means 1300 hours adams microsoft power point it will be 16 9 2022 and it will be 1600 hours so you can change the format of the time i'm just using the basic time format of google sheet okay now you see it has updated the time it takes some time to update the time but it works great and the good thing is i like very much that when i share this with my other uh, team members and uh, they enter data and it creates events on my google calendar and i don't need to write any piece of code for this it's free and easy okay so let's go to the new part on the new section what we will see we will create a google form uh, i already had a google form here let me show you i already have a google form here so what i want uh, let's preview the google form here when i submit the form name email date and time and meeting subject i want to create events accordingly right it will be automatic you can share this with your uh, clients with your other team members and you can uh, create the google form fields as per your needs so let's see how to do that so you know how to uh, create a google form it's very simple and one thing you need to do here it, under the settings tab sorry under the responses tab you have to connect a google sheet so we will create the same workbook so uh, select existing spreadsheet select i will select this select and now you see it has created a new worksheet here it was our previous one so what i want here when someone submits a google form uh, it will create a, an event right so for that we have to set up the calendar events creation 
add-ons for this worksheet right so let's see so go to extension calendar events creator setup so event title events from google form right and we don't want all day here you have to select the date is column d and the start time is column e right okay and the date star and end time i'm selecting the same end time okay and uh, the color should be um green green is my favorite color here okay and uh, if you want to select a subject just uh select the meeting subject here call meeting subject column here and select it okay uh enable status view if you want to see uh, it has created the events or not you can select this it will add one option that events created or not okay and uh, column g okay add guests so you see here we have a column with the email if you want to invite the guests like when someone submits on uh, their email address it can invite them okay it can invite them uh, if you want to uh, add a case so for us here is email column c if you don't want you can leave this so let's see if it invites the guests or not okay send notifications they will receive an email okay create events by submitting the form yes update event automatically okay apply settings and close this now we are ready we can keep it closed or we can keep it open but for this demo we'll keep it open to see how it works right let's see so what i'm doing here i will uh, send i'll copy the link of the google form and i'll open an incognito tab here to see how it works right so your answer like alexandra email any email so i can put hi at alexandra.net and date should be uh, maybe, let's try 13 time 15 zero zero meeting subject uh any meeting subject windows computer i'm just adding something oh. so let's see submit this form and if i come to this form i can see that there is a demo there's a response and here you see uh, it has created one row and we have to wait for a few moments to uh, see if the event has been created or not so if i google calendar i see it didn't create the event yet but it will create the event it does it properly i have checked it several times and i do use this for some of my works especially when i uh, share something with my other teammates let's wait for a few minutes <laughs> i'll first forward this video and now uh, i can see that the event has been created and if i see the google calendar see events from google forms uh here yes it works perfectly one guest and the guest will receive an email uh, that uh, i have created uh an event on google form uh, with this date and time so this is how it works it is automated when someone submits the form it will add the data to this google sheet and it will create the event accordingly thank you for watching if you have any questions uh, comment below i'll try to answer all the questions and i can uh, support you individually if you need any help from me and please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with your friends and help me to grow my channel. Thank you. See you soon.